I've been seeing a lot of students out there who aren't getting the full value out of the practice tests that they're taking. So I wanted to use this video as an opportunity to share with you some different tactics you can employ when taking your timed LSAT practice tests to get as much value out of them as possible. The idea here is that your practice test is not just a run through and it's not even the sole focus of your LSAT prep studying. There are also, of course, a lot of other things that you can be doing, such as reviewing foundational material like LSAT prep textbooks and course lesson videos. You could be drilling questions by type. You could be doing timed individual sections to work on your pacing. So when it comes to doing a full LSAT practice test, of course, you're working on your endurance, but you're also trying out different techniques in these timed settings to see what is ultimately going to be the strategy that you use on the day of the LSAT itself. So for example, students will ask me, should I approach the questions in logical reasoning in order, or should I do the hardest questions first? I don't personally recommend doing the hardest questions first, and I can tell you why, but what's even better than me telling you why you shouldn't do the hardest ones first is for you to try it out for yourself and see what are the consequences. Doing this in just one practice test or one time section is probably going to be enough to give you some indication of what works, what doesn't work, and why. Similarly, if you were to ask me, should I do the four reading comp passages in order, or should I do the dual passage first, or do the dual passage last, I'll tell you once again, try it out, see what works for you there. Or you might want to see, what's my worst case scenario? Is it getting two timed logical reasoning sections, one scored, one experimental? Is it getting two timed reading comps, one unscored, one scored? So you'll see, do I want to do the reading comp first or the reading comp last or logical reasoning first or logical reasoning last? Of course, on test day itself, you don't get to choose, but if you can experience your worst possible test day scenario prior to test day itself, it'll make test day itself a little bit better and it'll inoculate you or prepare you for those kinds of experiences. Of course, after LSAC removes the logic game section, post June, you're going to have two scored logical reasoning sections and one scored reading comp and one unscored experimental section of either reasoning or reading comp, meaning that you could have three logical reasoning sections back to back, starting with the August LSAT. Two of those would be scored. One of them would be unscored. And so if that is your worst case scenario, if that's your nightmare, then one reason to take timed practice tests would be to give yourself plenty of dry runs with three logical reasonings back to back, maybe with reading comp first, maybe with reading comp last. Of course, you also want to think about if you are clear on a certain question type, if you are not sure if the foundational work that you've done regarding, say, parallel reasoning questions or must be true questions or necessary assumption versus sufficient assumption, if you are not sure that you've fully learned the lessons of your review of those question types in isolation, a great way to evaluate yourself is to give yourself a full practice test to see what do your results look like in a timed setting where endurance is also a factor. Another benefit of doing practice tests is that you get lots of questions right, but also a decent number of questions wrong as well. And of course, hopefully it'll be fewer and fewer wrong over time, but every single question that you are getting wrong as well as the ones that you're guessing on and getting lucky, but could have gone the other way, that's all valuable data that you are collecting about your performance in a timed setting where endurance is a factor. And so every question that you are getting wrong is an opportunity for you to learn something new through the review process. If you are not reviewing, you are throwing away the actionable data you have collected. It's actionable because you can sit down and review it and learn from your mistakes. I've developed a framework for this called the Socratic Review Method. It's the cornerstone of my LSAT prep courses, whether we're going over it on video or in live small group settings or in classes or in one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so we can show you that. You can check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd be glad to help you out. But bottom line, if you are not reviewing thoroughly, you are not learning from your mistakes. And then of course you are likely to repeat them on a future practice test. And so if you want your practice test scores to get higher and higher as you keep taking them as test day approaches, you've got to be reviewing in depth. That is how you continuously improve your scores 
and how, how we've helped countless students at Elson Unplugged improve their scores from the 140s to the 150s to the 160s and even yes to the 170s over the span of just two to three months. It's by engaging in that detailed review process. We'll guide you through it, but of course, you can watch my videos here on YouTube and elsewhere to walk through that process by asking yourself key questions about where your mistake is coming from, why are you making it, what can you do to avoid making that same mistake going forward, pinpointing where the mistake occurred, was it due to a misunderstanding in the stimulus, meaning the argument, was it in an unfamiliar question stem wording, or was it in the answer choices, the tempting wrong answers, the unappealing right answers, and such. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do me a favor and share it with someone who needs to see it. I don't do any advertising for these videos. I rely only on word of mouth to help get the word out, and your sharing the video really does make a difference. In the meantime, I'll wish you all the best and take care.